Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with chapter 1128. And before we get into today's bit of a review, we're going to go through the chapter and point out some things. Um, overseeing right now, you'll be seeing some gameplay of One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Um, perhaps I'll be playing as Gear 5 Luffy, I'm not too sure, but did make an appearance. But before we get into it, uh, definitely want to talk about a dessert option. So, a bit of a random anecdote, my girlfriend and I did chocolate, oh, I'm sorry, black bean brownies. Yo, it sounds crazy, trust me, but dude, when, like, we just had the batter and we we're like, there's no way it tastes as good. And then we finally made the brownies. Holy crap. So if y'all are looking for like a really healthy dessert, black bean brownies, dude. Like it's it's actually incredible. Um, I will put the recipe down in the description box below. The link that you can go follow to, to make it at home. Really random anecdote. I do apologize, but like I just had to share. So if you're looking for a healthy dessert, especially, you know, with the fall you know there are different um the holidays that are coming up so if you're looking for something different to do for the holiday season dude black bean brownies all right anyway that being said let's get right into it so the cover art is beautiful so no cover story this week but i love how this looks and it's funny to me i, I don't know if this is like um an ode to harry potter but Yesterday, my girlfriend and I did start watching the Harry, po Harry Potter movies. I've never seen the Harry Potter movies. Um, I The only re reason I know of them is because when I had to do summer reading as a kid, I never did summer reading. <laughs> so I would just read the back of the book of Harry Potter and that would be my summer reading. Um, so I never really got into it. But I did play um, Hogwarts Legacy, and that was so much fun. So that's what ultimately led me to get into it. So this is, I mean, I don't again, I don't know if this is an ode to Harry Potter or not. But we got the brooms, the dragons, everyone's on there. You know, Chopper <laughs> broke our freaking struggling. Um, Usopp as well, and of course Sanji looking at Robin. Robin's design looks really good. Uh, Frankie's with Nami, and then of course Jinbei and Zoro just chilling on the dragon as the dragon's flying through. But it's a really nice design. I love it. Um, if you guys want to see like a tier list for cover arts, let me know. I'd be happy to do one. But let's go through the chapter now titled RPG. So that theory that Nami was hallucinating and it's all a dream is officially dead. Uh, we can put that one to rest. So now they are going through the town. And let me tell you guys, the comedy in this chapter is absolutely hilarious. So now we know like where everyone was. So they did end up separating. Um, Zora woke up on the other side of town. Um, heard a noise. Then <laughs> saw Luffy beating up a giant rabbit. And then, you know, Luffy's like, oh, you could have taken that thing down, right? Who's up? The cat line? And Usa was like, well, when I woke up, I was in its mouth. So, you know, I got a built-in excuse. But it looks as if they're in some sort of small town. We don't know if they're gigantified. But this is such a fantastically done chapter. I love the drawing. And it kind of makes sense why there are actually Lego pieces. And we're going to get to that in a bit. So as we go through, we meet some guy. No name, actually. But he, it seems as if he, this guy is the caretaker of the the different gods that are in this land, so to speak. And I do love that there's just great comedy here. So then this guy goes, just remember the land belongs to the sun god. So we keep getting um, hints about the sun god. We don't know who it is until we get to the end of the chapter. Well, I mean, you know, they got a mask on. Um, but so then they're talking about the castle. <laughs> and this is this is top tier. I feel like this is when One Piece is at its best when it comes to the comedy stuff. Um, <laughs> Luffy's like, oh, someone lives in that castle? The, the unnamed person goes, yeah, no, a cat. And he's like, oh, my bad. We kind of whooped that cat. It's like, hmm, hmm. Trying to, to cover their mouth. And they're all just, you know, whistling. It's just top tier comedy. This is when One Piece is really good in my eyes. But, of course, 
the the caretaker's like, hey, do not follow this road. Um, there are rabid guardians protecting the temple. No one's has ever ventured to return to tell the tale. And then now he's like, oh my god, please don't say that. And then of course, you know, Luffy, the freaking um, adventurer and person that he is, is just like, oh word, say less. So he freaking zooms. And I mean zooms to the let's see where we are to the <laughs> to this road, and they're all just like, "Hey, sorry." And of course, Zoro is like, "Oh, rabid guardians, a oh, word." <laughs> and I love how Sanji's like, "You guys are basically enabling each other at this point." <laughs> it's it's top tier comedy. Like I love the interactions, and I do like the fact that. Oda did break up, you know, the OG Straw Hats with the newer Straw Hats. And of course, you know, we have Chopper. We know where he is. Um, so I do like this because it gives us a lot more character focus. And I believe Mr. Morridge made a video on, like, why it's such an intelligent idea. If you haven't seen that video, definitely highly recommend checking that one out. But of course, Luffy is full on sprinting. And he's like, oh, there's someone sprinting towards this way. He's like, I guess I'll just dodge him. But freaking face plants into what appears to be some sort of mirror. Um, and literally just breaks through. And now we're in some sort of giant room here. And this is where we find Chopper. So Chopper's crying. He's so glad to see us. And then, of course, we have some more comedy where Nami's uh, uh, hugging Chopper. He's like, hey, like, I couldn't. I had this collar. Like, I couldn't get it off. And then she goes, you owe me for this hug. He's like, what? <laughs> like, what, bitch? <laughs> but, yo, uh, we have Usopp here admiring the clothes that have been made. And then we see that this what the room that they broke into is some sort of cage so inside the cage you can see what's going on outside but from the outside in you cannot so essentially tinted windows um so very very interesting because someone goes i don't know who specifically said it what kind of mirror magic is this so i guess they've never seen tinted windows um, and, then, and then, of course, Sanji's like, oh, Nami, I volunteer to clean the ladies' room and then gets kicked the crap out of. So now Zoro's wondering, like, if this is some sort of sick hobby. You know, the giant likes to watch people from the outside in this block world. So it seems as if these blocks are essentially Legos. Like, they actually are Legos to this giant that's, a, that's supposed to be the sun god. So whoever created this world... It's like Zoro said, it's almost like a zoo in a sense for this person, but with like real toys, like real life toys. I don't even know. Um, and then, you know, Usopp, you know, they're all trying to plan Nami, Chopper, Usopp. And Usopp's like, hey, like, are you listening, Luffy? He's like, yeah, I am. I just thought I'd kick this freaking snake's ass first. And then they're all panicking. They're like, yo, go for it. <laughs> And then, of course, we figure out who these guardians are that are guarding this quote-unquote temple, which is really just a secret room. I guess, like, the zookeeper's room. I think that's the best way to put it. Where you have three rats, a crow, and this very giant snake. Although, giant to them, but perhaps a regular size to uh, giants. Okay? So then... We have this mysterious figure walking by, and then here's what's going on in this room. Very, I love the design. I really do. Um, like a moose head, I guess, right? A moose skull that's on his head. Um, some sort of, not saber, but staff with the sun, which I guess makes him the quote-unquote sun god. I mean, this design is absolutely gorgeous. This is almost very gothic, so to speak. And then they're just like, he's walking in the room and he's just overhearing this. He's like, oh, what the hell is happening in there? And of course, you know, Luffy, hey, that's overkill. And he's like, I'm not the one who busted the fireplace. And then this guy comes in. He's like, what is happening, dude? My temple. Luffy going gear five. 
Zora looks sick, dude. Just um, walking on this block with the fire that's going off. So perhaps he's the one. Zoro is the one who started the fire with the fire flame, since he learned that from. Um, why am I forgetting his name? Not Conjuro. I I see it. Kianmo. There we go. Jeez Louise. And then they notice like. Usopp, hey, you know, Usopp notices, like, yo, the sun god's back, like, let's go for it. And then Mugen, uh, I guess, is the name of the crow. Oh, because Zora Slash, I actually didn't see this panel. So Zora Slash, the, the crow, took him out. And then Luffy in Gear 5, Gum Gum, Booming Dawn Pistol. And I love how this is drawn because it's almost as if this fist going through this snake is, like, coming out of the page almost so it's very like 3d-esque i love it and the name of the snake so this is really interesting so it's Hilmungander, Hilmungander, but it's not jormungandr so any relation perhaps it's like the same species that jormungandr is or he just wanted you know whoever the sun god is just wanted to name this snake the same thing or something similar i'm not too sure but they're all freaking out they're hauling ass they're like that giant is huge and what a messed up situation that they're in and then the cat finds them the cat line from the previous chapter hisses at them bam hits them and this was hilarious i was dying when i read this and of course they're all riding the cat now the cat's crying has a big ass bump on his head but this is really interesting actually I believe this is the first time that we're seeing that from Luffy transitioning from gear five to base form without going into that like super old man face because he in this chapter I mean at the end of it at least like he, it seems as if he's gone back to normal and he's completely fine even you know this close up here with the ending panel with uh, this so called sun god chasing the cat I mean for the most part, Luffy looks fine. I mean, he's laying out, so maybe not. But when I look at the panel on the right here with Luffy's face, uh, there's no reaction to uh, post-Gear 5 use. But then, of course, in the middle here, there's a little bit of reaction where it seems like he's just laid out. I'm not too entirely sure since it wasn't drawn the best. But, yeah, so now whoever the sun god is is now chasing. Um, people are reacting to the sun god, and it looks as if they found a map as well to potentially get out of there. So, wherever it is, it is on the other side of this island, I guess. Um, we'll see if they're on Elbath. Elbath, excuse me. Elbath. Elbath, El Baño. Uh, we'll see what's on the other side of Elbath next week let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below i personally loved the comedy in this chapter absolutely fantastic it looks as if gear uh gear five uh has been improving so to speak regarding stamina and luffy transitioning from gear five to base again with this middle panel at the end here or this middle section it does looks look as if luffy is out for the count but when i look on the right here Luffy's face is completely fine. Um, and then we do have a map, like I said. I do find it interesting that the, the hallucination theory is put to rest. But it is weird. And perhaps it was the way TCB translated it. Where instead of Gum Gum Gear 3rd, like Gear 3rd, Gum Gum Whip, it was supposed to be um, something else like Elephant Magnum or something along those lines. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. And are you excited? Because this chapter, it, it's very exciting stuff. I'm curious to see where they go from here. All right, guys. See you in the comment section below. And of course, in the next video. Peace.